Hello Titans, it's Curtis, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your My Designs account to Merch Titans Automation. It's a very easy process, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is come over to the left menu here and go down to the uh, settings page. Let's click that and you'll see personal access tokens. So you want to click this. And here you will create a token for Merch Titans Automation. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. For example, I'll just do MTA5 because I have a bunch of them down here. And then click Create Token. And then you'll see this uh, token right here. You'll just click that to copy it. And then you want to open up Merch Titans Automation, which I already have opened over here. So on the upload page, you'll see a My Designs option. You want to select that. And then this is where you would input your token. So click OK. And then uh, you'll see a list of all your folders and it'll only show, or sorry, your collections. It'll only show the collections that actually have designs in them. So if you have blank collections, it's gonna avoid those, which is good. So you can choose the collection you want. In this case, I want Camping 2. You can see there's 10 designs in there. And you can choose the file slot too. So some of these I had overlays on. I think it was actually this one. So I'm gonna choose this color overlay and then I'll select it. And now you can see all my data is here which is really, really cool. You don't have to worry about downloading your designs and using local spreadsheets if you don't want to anymore. Now, if I go back, there's one more important thing with this integration. You need to make sure that in the advanced setting of any of these platforms you're uploading to, you can see down here, you click this, um, you'll see that the title column, description column, and tags column for Redbubble in this case needs to be mapped. And it looks like it's already mapped, but you could just click this. You'll want to find the title column. So default.title, meaning the default is the data set name in my designs. Title is the field name, so that's what I want. Description, default.description here. That's what I'd want with this one. And of course, default.tags. You need to make sure you map these columns so that it's uh, pushing the data to the right fields into each of these platforms when you start the automation process. So in that case, if I was ready, you can see all my designs from that folder ready to go. I could click Start and then let it upload. And the great thing about this integration too is when you do uh, integrate my designs with Merch Titans Automation, and you start the process every time a design is published you'll see over here in the publications tab it'll actually store uh, the which pro, uh, which platform it's published to along with a url as you can see a teespring here in cases of platforms that give you the url when it's published so redbubble teespring and i believe tpublic will give you the url as soon as the product is published so we'll store that in here for you nicely which is great because long term we have good plans to enable some forms of marketing automation so that's another benefit of using this integration Anyway, that's how you connect Merch Titans Automation to my designs. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just let me know by leaving a comment below. Enjoy.